Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to graph inequalities on a number line. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. We have three examples here, and they're a little different than our previous examples. We have negative 3 for A, so negative 3 is less than X is less than 4, and we want to graph this inequality on the number line and write it in interval notation. And notice we have a lower and upper bound written here for each one of these examples. So we're going to make a number line here, okay? And we have a range from negative 3 to positive 4. So let's go start with the negative 3 down here and then fill in the number line from there. Negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, let's go negative 4. And I want to make sure I got to a positive 4, which I did, and I have negative 3 as well. And I always like to do like at least one more on either side of that. They tell us that x is between these two values. Negative 3 is less than x. Okay, let's deal with that. It's not equal to negative 3, it's just x is greater than negative 3. So we have an open circle right there. Then we have the same thing that says x is less than 4. Well, if x is less than 4, it's not equal to 4, open circle. Now they say again, x is between these two values. Negative 3 is less than x, but x is less than 4. It's like a puzzle. So fill that in right here. And between these two values is where x can be. Now to write this in interval notation, parentheses, because we're not equal to negative 3, to a positive 4, again, would be the second parenthesis. And there we have our interval notation, x is between negative 3 and positive 4. Now what about the next one here? Well, we have another number line we're going to put in here. We have negative 6 and negative 1 are the two bounds. So let's start here with negative 6, negative 5, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and then negative 7 here. We'll start with negative 6 x can equal negative 6. Remember, negative 6 is less than or equal to x. So at negative 6, we're going to put a closed dot. The second part, x is less than negative 1, not equal to, so we put an open circle there at negative 1. Now x is between these two values, so we put a line that connects these two, and there we have our graph. Now let's write this in interval notation. We can equal a negative 6, so we must have a bracket the lower bound, comma. Our upper bound here is a negative one, but we put a parenthesis because we're not equal to a negative one. And there we have our interval notation for this graph. Lastly, we have zero to 2.5. Now, on this number line here, I'm gonna actually go a little tricky here. I'm gonna put zero right here, then I'm gonna go a 0 0.5, one, 1 1.5, two, 2.5, 3, if I can fit it, 3.5, and 4. And let's go this one to be a negative 0 0.5. Now you could go by single integers there and just put it where the space is, but I just went by the units here because I saw 2.5. 0 is less than or equal to x. Key is the equal to part, x can equal 0. Close circle right here. Then we have x can also equal a 2.5, close circle right here. Now, x is between these two values, so we put a line between them, and there we have our graph. Now, let's write an interval notation. Since x can equal 0, we put a bracket there for 0, comma. Then we go up to 2.5, and again, x can equal 2.5, and we have another bracket. And there's our answer here. So we had three problems here. We graphed those inequalities, and we found uh, we wrote it in an interval notation of what x can be as well. I hope you learned something here on how to graph inequalities on a number line. If you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.